In order to have FastMDD work with Cinema 4D, you need to download the, an MDD Reader plugin. Christopher Lutz has written one, and you can find it on his Animation Snippets website. Just click on Downloads, and it's a free plugin. I've already downloaded it, and there it is on my desktop. Just going to extract that. And there it is. So now just go navigate to your, into your computer and find where you have Cinema 4D installed. On my system it's in the program files, Maxon, um, using the demo version, plugins, and then what you do is you copy the entire folder into um, this directory here. So now that we have the MDD reader installed, let's go ahead and launch Cinema 4D. And we'll close this demo screen and minimize that and get it into place. And just to test to make sure that you have the MDD plugin installed correctly, just click here on plugins and you can see MDD reader. So it looks like Cinema 4D is ready for us. Let's go and launch Messiah now. And we'll load up the Don's Dino scene. And this is a scene that comes pre-installed with Messiah. And it's pretty cool, a really nice rig. Um, and as you scrub along you can see its motion and any time you can go ahead and adjust any of the, the bones to make it animate the way you want. We'll only want to deal with the first 300 frames to make it easy for ourselves. You can see that the range there is set from 0 to 300. So, in order to make it more compatible with Cinema 4D, we're going to want to replace the LightWave object, which has some scaling issues with an OBJ. To do that, click on the Setup tab, which puts the object into its uh, default T-Pose. And we'll right-click here on the File tab and pick Save Object, Save Wavefront Object As. And I have not selected an object from the item list, so it's going to give me that error. So the first step is to select the object, then save out the object. And we'll call it T-Rex Fixed. And it says object file saved. Good. Now we're going to want to bring that object in. So we'll go to the File tab, Multiply Items, Replace, Find the object, Open it, and then go from Setup back to Animate, and it will be working. So now just press Tab to get it back into the MetaNode mode. So we have the animation the way we want in uh, uh, the object file format that's compatible, more compatible with Cinema 4D. So we'll just select the object file, and then here on the armature icon, we'll left-click and pick Capture. And what that's doing is capturing all of the points in space and time into that MDD interchange file format. So there we are, the first 300 frames already captured. Back into Cinema 4D, let's load up that object. And there it is. And we're going to want it to look nice and hypernerbed like it does in Messiah. So we'll go to Objects, Nerbs, Hypernerbs. And then we'll parent the dinosaur to the hypernerb. And that will make it look a lot smoother. Now we're going to want to load in the MDD Reader plugin and parent that to the object. Here in the attributes of the MDD Reader plugin you can see File. Just click here and we'll be able to find the uh, file that we exported. Normally it puts that in a subfolder of the content directory with the same name as the scene file. So the scene file was called Don's Dino. So we'll just double click that and in here is the T-Rex fixed um, MDD, 
we know that this is the correct file because it's named the same as the one that we exported, as the model that was exported. So there's T-Rex fixed MDD. Open that up and you can see that it immediately starts to deform the object. Let's set the out to 300 like it is in Messiah and set the range here and then we'll go ahead and scrub and you can see that it's properly deforming. Um, just to make sure project settings oh, it's set to 30 we'll set that to 24 and that should that should more closely match what it is happening in Messiah so we'll just rotate that around so we can look at it pull it back a little bit so there we have our dinosaur so I'm just show you how easy it is to make changes to your animation in Messiah and have that reflect here in um, cinema we'll just pick a frame uh, let's say w around 144 we want his mouth to open and close here in Messiah we'll just scrub over to 144 uh, before we can do that we'll just have to release the MDD so left click is deactivate so now it's deactivated we'll just select that bone and just give it a little wiggle just to set a keyframe we'll go to the middle of those two keyframes and open his mouth and we can change the curve in the editor just real easy by control left click dragging so he's gonna go roar about 155 his mouth's going to be open so let's select the object in the items list and then right click to recapture and we'll notice around 155 he'll go roar so now we'll go back into cinema and scrub and then on around 155 you can see the change that we made in Messiah has properly changed in cinema. So the back and forth relationship is actually uh, very, very quick. You just have to recapture here any of the changes you do to your animation. So uh, hopefully that will get you up to speed quickly with how you can get motion back from Messiah Studio into cinema.